Well, she made history last fall when she became the first black woman to win Mrs. Universe. She's so lovely and so beautiful. Oh, absolutely. Juanita Ingram is on a mission to inspire women mm -hmm. through her published Christian books and also is an advocate for women and young girls. Juanita joins us this morning. Welcome to Lifestyle Live. Yes, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And congratulations. Thank you. Th th this is a big deal. I mean, it really is. You're representing, I, I believe, be over 75 other women for the title. What was this crowning moment like for you? It was very surreal. Yeah. Um, in the video, you can see when they called my name that I said, um, oh, God, that's me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's been a 10-year journey, you know. Um, yeah. I, it's it's and it's interesting, my journey started here in Indianapolis. So really? I was Mrs. Indiana, United States, back in 2007. Wow. First black woman to win that title as well. So it's, it all started here in India yeah. since I'm coming home. Oh, a lot of yeah. first there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, did you ever dream that you'd go this far? Uh, no, actually, yeah. no. <laughs> no. I didn't. No, I, <laughs> I didn't start competing in pageants until uh, the Mrs. Division. Until I was married, yeah. I was thirty. Um, I was already an attorney, mm -hmm. so it just wasn't something that I thought about growing up. I just yeah. didn't. I was in the band. I was drum major. I did other things. <laughs> oh my goodness! I didn't think about that growing up. But it's a wonderful opportunity to encourage young women, and I want young girls to know that intelligence is mm -hmm. beautiful and wisdom is beautiful. I love so that's that. the focus. And I'm sure that you're passing that along to your, your. You have two children. Yes. Right as well, and you have been all over. Yes. You are a traveler. <laughs> Indeed. And you're also documenting it at all on a yes. new reality series. Tell me about that. Yes, it's called the Expats International Ingrams, and so we live in Singapore. Wow. Uh, it took about 23 hours to get here. My daughter, my son, my husband, my daughter's here in the studio <laughs> today. Um, and yeah, it's about living abroad, navigating change. There are relatable issues throughout the show, but it's through a black lens. So yeah. what is it like to live and be black and abroad and be American and live in a different location? So we have 12 other expats on the show. We, you see us moving from Taiwan to Singapore, mm. the beautiful part is that the streaming proceeds go to benefit Dress for Success. Um, I'll be back here in that. September for Dress for Success Indianapolis. And that's a, a, a big part, or yes. something that you're a big part of, I should say. Absolutely. And tell us about, you're, you're in town, yes. as well here in Indianapolis. Tell us about what's coming up for you. Well, I speak tomorrow. Um, I'm here for the National Convention for Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Mm -hmm. I'm a member. Yeah. And it's an exciting time. We had a girls' empowerment event earlier this week. I speak tomorrow on mental wellness and health. So I'm just excited to be back. My daughter's here with me. She was born here in oh, Indiana, wow. so this is coming home. That's so great. And you yeah. write Christian inspirational books as yes. well, right? Absolutely, yeah. yes. So my latest one, Fabulous, Faithful, and Free, just encouraging women to be fabulous, to be faithful to mm -hmm. their convictions, and to feel free to be all that they are. And proceeds from that go to Dress for Success as well. I, I, I just love all of this so much yeah, because, well, because, you know, I was, uh, I was in pageants back in the day as mm -hmm. well, and I think a lot of time when people think you know pageants it's a little bit more of the um the su superficial yes. part of it but i mean you are an empowering confident woman Confidence. of intelligence who's mm -hmm. really helping engage other young girls and yes. set a big example for them especially your daughter Absolutely. and that's something <laughs> i feel like in this generation totally in this agree. world yeah. especially of social media you we we need something like this well i appreciate that i think also it's a misnomer people assume that pageantry is all about beauty but yeah. interview counts just as much as evening gown yeah, as you know right and so the intelligence and what's coming out is what really wins the crown so intelligence wins yeah. and that's what i tell young girls all the time and um it's something that we need to champion a bit more. I completely agree. Yeah. It helps them with confidence. Absolutely. With public You're speech, so articulate. Oh, thank you. So. <laughs> Here's a QR code right here, Amber, if you want to yes. get more information. Yeah, so. absolutely. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to meet uh, you. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. having me. Pleasure. Have some fun and welcome home.